Thank you. And we'll now go to um, item number 10. Tracy, would you like to present that? And I didn't ask you to come up for an update, but I'm sure you'll tell us a little. Traffic Safety Bureau and Torrance County for community DWI funding. Uh, we received $3,938 in CDWI funds. This is pretty much the same grant that comes before you uh, each year at this time. There have been no changes except for in the dollar amount. Last year we received $5,747 and this is a significant decrease. It's based on a $75 fee that is assessed to convicted DWI offenders. And it all comes back into the county of, um, of conviction. Thank you, Tracy. We're now at the table for any questions. So, Tracy, is that good that the funding is, is going down? It depends on your point of view. It depends on your point of view. Um, we have not had as many DWI arrests. But there's no way to know why we're not having a lot of DWI arrests. There are certain things that you, you can quantify. You don't know if it's because people aren't out there committing the crime, which is what I would like to believe, or if we don't have enough law enforcement out there available to arrest all that, uh, that are committing the crime, which I'm afraid is what I do believe. Well, we, in either case, thank you for your hard work in combating PWI in our county. So with that, I would like to call for a motion to approve. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. And then if you could just update us briefly on the great success of the last event that was coordinated. Wow. Um, in, in a single word, wow. Um, our summer events were very last minute. It was very last minute planning. It was, I wonder what would happen if. Um, I visited with Dakota at the swimming pool and we came up with the, uh, the summer fun events um, at the pool. The first event was a family event held July 21st and we had about 85 people out there. Um, and it was planned in less than two weeks. The following Friday, which was July 27th, was a team night and we had over 100 people there. The next night, we had um, the first ever Dance Under the Stars, and I didn't know what to expect. It was promoted um, in the community somewhat, here at the commission meeting, um, through newspapers, and a lot of it was on Facebook. And I received a lot of responses from people who said they would come on Facebook. I think it was about 62 people. And I thought, well, if they show up, at least the park will be completely empty. By the end of the night, um, I would, I think a very safe guess would be between 250 and 300 people came throughout the evening. People were coming and going, but a lot of people stayed until the event ended. We had family groups, we had teenagers, we had elderly folks. Um, it was incredible. Um, people danced all evening long, and I was pleased enough that I think that I would like to try to do something like a first Friday next summer maybe the first Friday of every month do, do something like that. Because our community does lack activities. I'm not saying there aren't any. A lot of people just don't go to the activities that are there. But I think anything that's family oriented and has, especially our teenagers, instead of being out in the, in the fields participating in unsafe and illegal activities, if we can get them out there uh, dancing. We have a lady out there who's providing free line dance lessons and it was a fabulous time. Um, I wanted to have concessions out there, but I didn't want to be bothered with them. I thought there would be too much going on and I didn't want to do that. And Moriarty um, has a, an elementary school level dance team. They are not affiliated with school, but it's elementary students. It's the prestige dance team. And they took the ball and, and ran with concessions and raised over $200 for that program. Uh -huh. And since they don't, all of their fundraising, uh, all of their funding is the fundraising, um, it was very helpful for them. Um, this 
Friday evening. The town is planning the last blast for uh, youth ages 12 through 19 from 7 <coughs> until 10.30. Uh, it, it will be um, a youth swim event. And our program is partially sponsoring it. So it's, it's pretty much on the, on the town, but we are co-sponsors. And admission for the evening will be $1. It will be first come, first admitted. They're not doing any pre-tickets or anything. That's wonderful. Thank you for your continued hard work, and I know the youth have certainly had a greater summer because of it, so we thank you.